नाम को सीढ़ी बनाकर सत्ता हासिल करना गुना है When there are scenes of mob lynching, rape, and you know, like the murderer are like roaming around freely, that is not Ram Raj. How can one one temple convey a message to every minority? Isn't it? Isn't isn't it scaring the minorities that we are giving so much importance to the inauguration of one temple? Did did he ask common people that I should inaugurate? Did he? Hara hara shambhu shambhu Shiva Mahadeva shambhu shambhu. On the day when Ram Mandir has been inaugurated and the consecration ceremony has been observed in Ayodhya by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Here in the state capital of West Bengal in Kolkata, West Bengal Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee, along with Trinamool Congress leaders like Avishek Banerjee and others, have taken out Shonghoti Rally. What they call is a rally to commemorate the communal harmony. What this way by, uh, without really uh, categorizing the Ram Mandir inauguration as a communal event or without making any direct jibe at the Ram Mandir consecration ceremony, what they have tried stressing on that Mamata Banerjee, as West Bengal Chief Minister and Trinamool Congress. Mr. Prabhu A has stayed away from the consecration ceremony B like the other opposition leaders have not really approved the idea of uh, prime minister inaugurating the mandir and C she has also decided to take out a rally along with religious leaders uh, of several sect and and religion in a way to give out a message of unity and harmony the rally is currently underway where uh, Mamata Banerjee is really uh, leading a, a massive uh, uh, show of strength that's one second of all uh it is also in a way signaling uh, uh, you know a, a public appearance on a day which is otherwise dominated by the discourse uh, be it in news and elsewhere about prime minister narendra modi uh, doing the inauguration of uh, ram mandir or for that matter ram mandir finally getting inaugurated well bjp has said that this is a historic moment in the chapters of uh, india and the and the very existence of india uh, while uh, several leaders be it uh, uh, arvind Kejriwal performing really uh, observing religious ceremony, or be it for that matter Udhav Thakre visiting temple, or for that matter Rahul Gandhi who is on uh, you know, on a Bharat Joro Naya Yatra tour in a uh, in Assam, all covering the Assam leg, was stopped from entering a temple. Mamta Banerjee here has visited Kalihat temple. That's how she started her yatra. हमारा बस हिम्मत है लड़ने के लिए, लेकिन हमको लड़ने नहीं देता है लोग. आसोम रैली निकाला इसी के लिए हमने हिम्मत दिखाया कितना पॉलिटिकल पार्टी है क्या हिम्मत दिखाया एक मंदिर विजिट करने से हो गया सो शी स्टार्ट्स हर यात्रा फ्रॉम कालीघाट टेंपल व्हिच इज अ सिंबल ऑफ द हिंदू डीटी एंड फ्रॉम देयर शी हैज गॉन टू गुरुद्वारा एट गोरचा फ्रॉम देयर शी 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 इज नाउ गोइंग टू अ चर्च एंड फाइनली शी वुड आल्सो बी विजिटिंग अ मॉस्क इन पार्क सर्कल सो इन अ वे बाय विजिटिंग ऑल द प्लेसेस ऑफ वर्शिप बिलोंगिंग टू डिफरेंट रिलीजन एंड फाइनली कंक्लूडिंग द यात्रा ऑन यू नो ऑन 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 द मैसेज ऑफ संगति व्हेन ट्रांसलेटेड in english it means uh, harmony she essentially is trying to give out this message of communal harmony now when you just oppose that with what you witnessed in Ra ayodhya and the ram mandir inauguration there it becomes significant as whether it's simply a uh, a uh, uh, yatra a padyatra and it's merely a coincidence uh, that the yatra happens on a day ram mandir has been inaugurated or the consecration ceremony has observed has been observed by prime minister or whether it's more than that a signaling strong enough to give out the message that look this is communal harmony and this is the display of communal harmony on a day prime minister narendra modi has inaugurated ram mandir what does this mean she has taken out a padyatra on on the day that ram mandir got inaugurated what what does this mean it means everything i mean this is not she is not conforming to what the central government is saying she is obviously she is very obviously standing against it we are just here to watch it but we understand what she is trying to say we are young people we live here we are students and we are glad that somebody is standing up against that hours before this inauguration trinamool congress national general secretary avishek banerjee taking to social media he suggested that his religion does not allow him to embrace a place of worship be it mandir masjid gurudwara church which is built on 
on on the soil which has witnessed hatred and which is built on dead bodies koi kehta hai hindu khatre mein hai koi kehta hai musliman khatre mein hai koi kehta hai hindu khatre mein hai koi kehta hai musliman khatre mein hai main kehna chahta hu dharm ka chashma zara utar ke dekho pura hindustan khatre mein देखिए देश जोड़ने का यात्रा है यूनिटी इन डाइवर्सिटी हमारे देश की पहचान है आप जानते हैं कि हिंदू मुस्लिम एकता ही इस देश का परिचय है तो दीदी वही काम कर रही है जो हर हिंदुस्तानी को करना चाहिए भगवान राम सबके हृदय में है भगवान राम हमारे भी आराध्य हैं लेकिन भगवान राम को जिस प्रकार कोई पार्टी राजनीति दल पूरे देश को में विभाजन का एक हिस्सा बनाई हुई है उसी के खिलाफ हम लोग हम लोग राम के खिलाफ नहीं है आप जो चीज पूछना चाह रहे हैं हमारे घर में भी राम का पूजा होता है आज भी पूजा हुआ है क्योंकि हमें भाईचारे को कायम रखना है ये देश को यदि बचाना है तो हिंदू मुस्लिम सिख ईसाई सबको एक साथ रहना होगा तो आप कहना चाहते हैं कि राम मंदिर के इनोग्रेशन के साथ राजनीति हो रहा है एग्जैक्टली exactly. आज बताइए आप वहाँ पे प्राण प्रतिष्ठा में कौन थे कहाँ हम लोग के संगाचार्य वहाँ पे थे नहीं थे पोलिटिकल और मोहन भागवत हैं वहाँ पे मोदी जी हैं योगी जी हैं भगवान राम को सीढ़ी बनाकर सत्ता हासिल करना गुना है मोदी जी सीढ़ी बना रहे हैं सिर्फ राम भगवान राम भगवान राम को और क्या कर रहे हैं आप बताइए तो मोदी जी नहीं जोड़ रहे मोदी जी जोड़ते हैं तो देश का ये हाल होता कि देश का हाल क्या हुआ क्या हुआ आप बताइए आप बताइए आपसे पूछ रहे हैं आप बताइए बताइए देश को धर्म के नाम में बांट दी वो नहीं होना चाहिए मोदी जी कहते हैं तो सबका साथ सबका विकास लेकिन वो कर 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 रहे हैं क्या सच्ची बताइए आप वो सिर्फ दो लोगों का विकास कर रहे हैं अंबानी और अरानी का और किसी का नहीं इन दिस यात्रा सॉन्ग हो दी यात्रा एज ए कॉलेज दिस सॉन्ग हैज ऑल्सो फाउंड अ प्लेस रघुपति राघव राजा राम पतित पावन सीता राम आई फील द मैसेज इज गुड लाइक डोंट स्प्रेड हेटरेट टू अच ईच अदर Okay. Yeah. You think uh, there is a fear or spread of hatred? Yeah, yeah. Too much. How? Like because like when we focus on this locality, Paksagas, what they say is like Muslims are more into terrorism and all. Uh, you know, any Hindu is not safe here. So no, you can see like people are here. They are chanting slogans and all. Everyone is safe. What is more important, mandir, masjid, or education? I feel education because you know, like I don't even care about the mandir, masjid uh, debate. I'm I'm a student I focus on education I focus on my employment I focus on my rights okay if I'm getting my education my rights I'm happy and uh, you know baki uh, like if you talk about the mandir and masjid it's just a tool which the politicians use okay just to maintain their you know their stance in the nation and and bjp has also in a way ensured that celebrations uh, mark uh, uh, the beginning of uh, <laughs> beginning of ram rajya uh, uh, and and prime minister narendra modi kept harping on the words uh, uh, with lord ram rashtra building yani nation building will also find its way people of the country think that india is becoming a ram rajya and india would be a global leader but india is basically isolating all its foreign neighbors Ma whatever happened with maldives uh, people are thinking that india is being the dominant boss of south asia but basically they are isolating themselves in front of uh, adversaries like pakistan and china this is because that the nation is being driven by religious populism when we would be told what is ram rajya we would basically be able to know if it is happening or not and if this is ram rajya then i think this is it is sad that some someone as big as ram is being connected to something as trivial as this because the condition of the country is not as ideal as we would want it to be do you think what happened with bilkis banu would have happened in our ram rajya if this is ram rajya then it shouldn't have happened like such a horrible tragedy tragedy which which happened with her won't have happened in a, in an actual ram rajya if i would have to say like i don't think religious uh, theocracy is the worst thing in the world but we need to know if it is being done in the right way and what is its main points and what is its constituted of do you think it's ram rajya in india i don't think i don't think because like 
if this is ram rajya i have heard about ram rajya where everyone can get equality but when there are scenes of mob lynching rape and you know like the murderer are like roaming around freely that is not ram rajya many people have question as whether prime minister should be doing it bjp in counter of that has said the ram lord ram does not signify or or symbolize a particular religion he is a reflection of india and the india's identity again another criticism that has come on the way of uh, uh, prime minister as whether the ram mandir inauguration is a political attempt uh, to politicize a religious affair for electoral benefits because none no one can discount the fact that this is 2024 and in couple of months you would have the all important lok sabha election two shankaracharyas of the country out of four are taken very strong uh, positioning vis a vis prime minister narendra modi inaugurating the ram mandir and you also have uh, um, several people trying to draw reminiscence of the past uh, and and bring to fore uh, the history the dispute uh, and uh, the kind of mayhem 2002 had witnessed uh, I've come to see the secular uh, CM of our country. It's as simple as that. Okay, uh, you know this coming on a day when Ram Mandir has been inaugurated. Absolutely. See. What does this mean? It doesn't mean anything. It means that India belongs to all. It is just to tell everyone, every minority present in India, that we are one. Okay, but Ram Mandir inauguration doesn't convey that message. How can one one temple convey a message to every minority? Isn't it? Isn't Isn't it scaring the minorities that we are giving so much importance to the inauguration of one temple? Concept of Ram Mandir. Please. No, on this I don't want to come. I'm sorry. Talk How do you see Prime Minister inaugurating it? That that can be his choice. Did did he ask common people that I should inaugurate? Did he? What would have been your suggestion to the Prime Minister to inaugurate or not? No, if, if the thing would would is something different. and it's already done so it's useless discussing on this so everything everything uh, on january 22nd has boiled down to one that this day has not been appropriated alone by prime minister narendra modi at least that has been the effort by the opposition not to ensure or, or rather to ensure the day simply doesn't go to prime minister narendra modi and that's the reason as soon as uh, prime minister speech got over we saw Mamta Banerjee start with the pad yatra before prime minister visited ayodhya we have seen early in the day rahul gandhi trying to enter into a temple at nogaon in assam so yes we have to now wait and see whether ram mandir inauguration finally translate into votes in favor of bjp and whether all these opposition parties trying to uh, trying to ensure that the 20 january 22 uh, doesn't really get washed away to uh, prime minister modi's inauguration of the mandir uh, alone and if that also translate into votes in favor of them uh, we have to wait and see but at the moment the pad yatra is on भगवान कहाँ रहते हैं दिल में रहते हैं आप जहाँ से उसको ढूंढना चाहते हैं वही वो है मतलब हर मुश्किल में हम उसको याद करते हैं कोई अल्लाह बोलते हैं कोई गॉड बोलते हैं कोई माँ काली बोलते हैं कोई हर हर महादेव बोलते हैं हाँ। वो तो उसका चॉइस है अच्छा और महादेव का आप टीका लगा के घूम रहे हैं महादेव का एक जयगान हो जाए हरा हरा शंभू शंभू शिवा महादेव शंभू शंभू Shiva Mahadeva The sunset is about to happen and the dusk would set in and with that we are expecting celebrations all across the country where diyas would be lit up in honor of Prabhu Shri Ram as Prime Minister Narendra Modi had called upon celebration of Diwali a second Diwali in the country in honor of Ram Mandir and the inauguration Prime Minister has said this is the new beginning for every human being and this is the new beginning for India where Prabhu Shri Ram it also lead to nation building it also mean nation building would also mean rashtra and the obvious question has always been what is the ideal definition of ram rajya people out here have question if the definition of ram rajya means uh, mob lynching a gang rape victim being put into further struggle in fight for justice if it means hunger if it means poverty impoverishment if it means challenges lack of education if it means religions supremacy over jurisprudence and practical thinking then people are questioning if that is the ideal ram rajya and if that should ever be the ideal definition of ram rajya but we are winding up here in calcutta with my video journalist ronishatra 
This is Tamal Shah for News the Truth. NTT. The hours would be lit up very soon. At that illumination, many would expect would take away the gloom, would then dispel the darkness, and that would also show us a new road, a better one, which is marinated in unity, harmony, education, faith, personal belief, strength, and brotherhood. Most importantly, love and peace.